Well, we thought we would tell you the origin of the Flamingo Group and why we call ourselves that. And it all starts with how we met one another. And it was 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. Coming up. <laughs> yeah. 1988. 87. 87. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. <clears throat> so, and? yeah. So there's two sides of it. There's uh, Beth's side, and then there's the truth. And I'll tell you the truth right now. So um, I'm in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, visiting some friends of mine that go to the University of Wisconsin, Madison. And it was during uh, basketball Final Four type period. And we decided that on a Thursday, first day of the basketball tournament, the games start real early, and we wanted to find a, a bar for us just to go hang out and watch basketball. So we went to this bar on State Street and uh, started. Uh, we did go at 10 a.m., and there were not a lot to of people. To get all the basketball games to in. To get all the basketball games in. Yeah. It happened to be in a bar, and that's, you know, inconsequential. And so um, we were there for several rounds of basketball. And uh, as the day progressed, all of a sudden, you know, we didn't have any windows because this was a, a bar that you had to go down the steps. So we had no real concept of what time of day it was. All of a sudden, the bar started getting picking up with people. And before you knew it, it, it was to a crowd like this. And we were against the bar. My two buddies and I were against the bar because it was packed. And it was also 9 p.m. So we had been there now for 11 hours and uh, watching a lot of basketball. And uh, so <laughs> we look at the crowd, and I look across the bar, uh, leaning against the bar, was this young lady and a girlfriend. And uh, I was pretty good friends with the bartender at this point because he had my credit card. So I sent, I told him to send two drinks over to those two gals. What were they? Do you remember? Peppermint schnapps. Peppermint schnapps. So we were in March. It was March 26, 1987, at 9 p.m. to be approximate and um, so I sent him over and um, she was you know duly unimpressed they <laughs> nodded and then drank him and then just kind of gave me a you know a wave and then uh, Thank you. that wasn't good enough so I said to the guy let's do two more so we sent two more drinks down and um, you know she had a little more of a discussion with her girlfriend at that time and I didn't know what was going on and I find out after the fact oh then I had I had pointed at her. I pulled out my A game. I pointed at her. She looked at me, and, and I went. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. lounge wow. lizard right here. Now, let me break that conversation right there. So I turned to my girlfriend, and she goes, that guy's asking you to come over there. And I said, no way. And then she goes, Beth, he has a credit card. We've got no money. So we were like, hey, hi, how are you? Went over and said hi, and mm -hmm. I met you at that time. So they worked their way through the crowd, and then my two buddies joined me. They, they're flanking me. She comes up with her friend, and my first comment as I look at her, it's just buzzing with a lot of activity, a lot of energy. She comes over, and I look at her, and I go, don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> so again, please. the A game is completely out at that time. <laughs> and just a sidebar, you know, those two comments yet you're here 35 years later so <laughs> yeah you know it must have worked it worked um and my buddies said immediately nice line nice line that was real good in fact they walked away it was it they was left so they had had it with me and so and her friend left and so beth and i walked up to the bar and we leaned against the bar and talked for three hours yep and uh just the only time i got distracted was one of my friends came up and said dan hang on for one second uh so and so is in a fight are gonna get in a fight and we need you for a second so I told her just don't move stay right there and uh, I went over and ended up buying all those guys drinks and we resolved the fight the beginning of my negotiating skills and I came back and then that's the story but the key part of the story is the name of the bar that we the establishment that yeah. we met in and that is the flamingo. the flamingo so that was the origin of the flamingo group did I hit the story pretty well? And you kept it clean. Yeah. The Good only job. The only piece I remember telling her <laughs> was we did go to an IHOP after the bar closed. Are we going to cut this part? No. 
Yeah. No, no, we no. We already told the flamingo story. No, We're no, 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 no. We're oh. going to keep going. So we did decide to go to an IHOP to get pancakes. And that's when I started to embellish my, my wealth a little bit. Um, I told her I owned the color green and I had flown to Madison in my private jet. And there's a few embellishments about my wealth, of which was probably negative at the moment. <laughs> and uh, I also was unemployed because I had just quit my job. So other than that, though, I really had everything. So the true story is really the one I <laughs> <laughs>